Hey folks, Captain Dave here. You may have seen me using the ARC dehooker in many of my shark videos. And I'm finding out that this thing is absolutely an indispensable tool for releasing some of these sharks. Back in the days before I had one, and it's not a novel idea, this is, this is nothing new. But before I had one and I really gave them a try, it was actually work to try to get a 14 knot circle hook out of a, you know, uh, a spinner black tip shark's mouth. Okay. And I'm finding out now that this is really going to be a very, dis you know, indispensable tool for when you're really into the big reds, the big spawner reds, not even pulling them out of the water. Okay. And being able to release them in the water so you can just hurry up and go catch another one. Uh, I know that having a dehooker tool is actually a rule now for when you're bottom fishing offshore in the, in the Atlantic, off of Florida. I'm not sure of all the ins and outs about the regulations, but you're supposed to have a dehooker device on the boat. But since I don't do that, I do the the shark fishing a lot during the summer and the fall and uh, as you've seen in my videos I mean I'm using the dehooker and it's really helping me out it takes a little getting used to and I can't say I'm a super master at it yet but I'm gonna try to show you the dehookers that I have and the ones that I've been using alright folks first off this is sort of a longer edition of the uh, ARC dehooker. ARC is what they call it. This is a sort of a heavy duty version. Uh, I remember years and years ago a buddy of mine who was you know commercial fished he used to have these made by a you know a local metal smith type guy. So they're not you know this entire loop idea on the end of a stainless steel rod isn't a new idea. But what they're doing is, this arc is basically mass producing them. I mean, they're they're bringing them to the public so everybody can have them. Okay, so uh, gives you sort of a rubberized handle. I guess this one here that I'm using is about a two foot long one. They come shorter. I think they come a little bit longer in this T T handle shape. And the whole idea is that right there. It's straight. It cocks and goes to a loop, an open-ended loop right there. Okay, so what that is is so that it'll go around the line and around a decent size hook. Now you, ne you wouldn't use one of these this big for you know a little black drum or something that big even though it might work, but then you would use just a smaller D hooker, you know, just a handheld size. But I have one of these, and you may have seen in my other video, other videos, let me set this down here, I got a good deal on this one. Now when I saw this, I said to myself, I've got to have it. This is a blue anodized aluminum uh, pole, six foot pole, comes with foam handles. And let me tell you, I mean, you get big sharks, you know, 100 pound plus ones. Um, and this was actually designed for when you're high above the water. Some people have made these. I mean, you can make these sometimes yourself. Um, or people have made them, okay, themselves. Uh, this one is really super quality. I mean, I'm, I'm astounded. Uh, I mean, I got such a great deal on it in the first place. But again, you can see it has this arc. Boom. It kind of kicks. Same size loop, open loop right here. Okay. And it was actually designed for when you're, you know, let's say you're in a sport fish boat or something. You're high above the water and you want to be able to reach down. 
Now my boat's pretty high gunnels, okay? Freeboard is quite high, which is fantastic because it's safe boat for all ages. And I find that this is actually what I refer to as more powerful. You can really get down there and pop a fish off of a big circle hook or anything from a distance, holding the line, pop it off. Okay, so this is sort of the power one. I kind of consider this the, the one with some um, guts behind it. And then, of course, the smaller one with the T-handle. You know, just a little easier to uh, maneuver, that's all. And then you still have to, I, in my boat, I still have to sort of bend over to get to the, uh, to the shark, the redfish, whatever. Now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to simulate here up against this white background with some oranges and a 14-aught circle hook. And I'm going to simulate how this has worked, how you do this on 14-aught circle hook and some oranges. Well, here is your average shark, redfish, grouper, amberjack, or anything. This old orange. There's a big old circle hook sticking through the corner of the, of the fish's mouth. All right. I'm using, and you, you can only really do this when you've got, um, you know, a good strong leader. Okay. If you're using some little lightweight leader, you know, and a big hook, well, you're already defeating your purpose here. So this is the fish. There's the circle hook. The fish is down in the water. You're going to take the de-hooker. You place the line in there. Goes down. And what you're going to do is you kind of push and pull at the same time here. Okay? And I mean, it's not, you know, you got a moving, for me many times, a big moving shark on the other end. But you're going to get it in there. Okay, I'll turn it around here, get it in, and as many times it's just a sharp drop, just like that. Alright, I'm going to show you again how you do this. You get the line in there, you try to position it. I try to pull with the with the uh, leader and push with the de hooker. The roundness of this is not wanting to work very well on the orange here. There we go kind of a quick motion and all this is really doing is it's going in <clears throat> like any other de hooker and you can see I even smashed down the barbs on all my circle hooks okay because this is what's really holding the shark tarpon redfish whatever on is this hangnail hook right here all it's really doing is it's going down and it's creating this type of force when you do that. That's all it's really doing. And it's keeping your hands away from any serious toothy critters. And I'll tell you with a with a, you know a fish on here sometimes, it's not the easiest thing to do. But bam, that's what's getting the hook out right there. When you go like that. All right. And it's the same thing when I use the big pole. So I hope this was helpful. There'll be a link at the bottom of this, the bottom of this video, where you can purchase the Arc D Hooker. Thanks for watching.